Hi guys, this is Greg from Zoho Expert, and today I'm doing a real quick video um, for somebody on Reddit who's asked about how to get the HTML from their email messages in Zoho Mail sent to a webhook. Um, before we go on, this is our YouTube channel. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to help show your support. Thank you. Um, so on with the video. Um, so if we go into Mail and we click on Settings, and then we scroll down to create new incoming filter and then on here we want to say um, no conditions all incoming messages or you can set whatever conditions you want for yours and in this case we're just going to say um, html to uh, webhook and then in the actions we're going to select um, custom function and we're going to say select function and this will bring up a new function and here we'll call this HTML to web hook. Um, now you'll see here this mail connection name. So you need to make a mail connection name. It won't let you save until you've made the connection. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to click on this DRE connections. And then here you want to, if it loads, <laughs> Oh, it won't let me load that for some reason. Um, let me try and save this. No. Okay, let me come out of here and select a new function again and go to DRE connections. Hmm, okay. That worked when I was working with it earlier. So we'll go back to settings and let's close settings, open settings again. And we want to look for connections. Let's see if we can search settings. We can't. No. So I've already made a connection, which is why I don't think it'll let me go back in and make another connection. Um, but I'm just going to have a quick look. Do, 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 do. No. Okay. So let's go back in here and click on. no conditions, uh, create a function, select function, DRE connections. There we go. Okay. Must have just been buggy. Um, so now you want to create a connection and you want to click on Zoho OAuth. And now you want to name your connection. So I named my other connection ZE for Zoho Expert Mail, but I'm going to put a one on the end here because I've already got ZE Mail. Um, and then you just leave that as it is and you scroll down here until you get to Mail or Zoho Mail. There it is. And now you select all the ones that end in dot all. So you see dot all, dot all, dot all, dot all, dot all. And that's it. So now we say create and connect. And then Oh, okay. So I'm going to say new and connect. And then you click accept and there we go so now we have our connection made so it's z underscore mail one so now if i go to the custom functions i change this see this text here mail connection name to z e underscore mail one and then i can now access everything inside the message using this message details variable um, so now what you want to do is you want to have your webhook url equals and then you want to put your webhook url in there and then you want to go invoke url and here we'll say response from webhook and then here we have the webhook url the type is post the parameters are message details and you can delete the headers here because we don't need the headers and now all we need to do is have some sort of webhook to put in here to send the message details to. So in my case, I'm going to use Zoho Flow and I'm going to create one called um, test HTML um, from mail to webhook. But if you've already got a pre-existing webhook that you want to send your emails to, you can just paste it in to here. But in my case, I don't have one. So I'm going to create a webhook that I can send this data to. And there it is. And now we go back in here and we paste that in. I don't 
don't think it copied. There we go, so now it's copied. And we go back in here and we paste. And now we want to click test. And now here we want to go, uh, oh, see it's lost the name, HTML to web hook. I want to save that. And now we want to go test run. And I'm just going to use that email there. And now you can see all the email information has been sent to my webhook and it would be sent to your webhook. And if you're looking for the HTML from the message content, then it's in this box here. And there's all the HTML that was inside the message. All right, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, um, but this is obviously quite a powerful uh, you know, option that you can use if you're looking to automate things around your email. Um, once, once you've done on here, you obviously just click on select custom function and then you see, depending on what conditions, um, it'll run this filter on all incoming mail. Um, and you might also want to untick this do not process other filters because you might have other filters that you want to continue running as well on top of this HTML to webhook. Um, you click save and then it'll run all of your future messages. But anyway, guys, I'm Greg from Zoho Expert. Um, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.